Hey guys, Kev here, and I have some unboxings to do for you. Um, yeah, uh, they've been piling up the last couple of days, and I'm trying to get through them. There's just a lot of stuff here. I don't know what's what. Um, so, let's see. Holy cow. All right. Um, some of this stuff is just things coming back to me, so nothing crazy here. But this might be a, a long unboxing. I think there's one that I'm going to save and do a separate video on. So, um, got my growler here. And let's get into this. This one's from KPL. So, I think... I think this is their uh, holiday box, which is really cool. They have this holiday um, box going on right now. I think it's still active, hopefully, when this posts... And essentially, you can get a really cool kit in there. You can gift it to somebody, etc. I also have some other stuff coming from them, I think. So let's just see. Oh, they always have all this black confetti in their boxes. I kind of hate, but I get it. They use that instead of packing peanuts, and it works really well. Um, it's just annoying when it falls all over your floor. Uh, hold on. Sorry. All right. That's one box. And they actually tape two boxes together like this, which also kind of sucks. But I get it. Again, it's just kind of what you do. There was something I asked for. Maybe they put... Oh, this is kind of cool, actually. I'm just slicing under one box. To, like, I'm slicing literally just between boxes, which kind of makes it fun to use your knife here. By the way... uh Something I want to talk about is we, uh, you know, in the knife world, there's this whole use your shit thing, right? And I, I get it, you know, people who want to abuse their knives or not even abuse, just use them hard or they have to for work or whatever, right? That's awesome. I have, you know, you should, right? If that's your, ah, just trying to get rid of this stuff. Um, if that's your... Uh, job or just your lifestyle awesome but most of us we just open amazon packages we open boxes and that's okay guys like i just don't want anybody new coming into the hobby i don't want anybody feeling like you have to hard use your knife to be cool or like you have to hard use your knife to show it off on the internet or you know like i feel like that whole use your shit thing kind of alienates other people you know um where if you look at like somebody like scab from choir boys cutlery he's a great example of this he's 100 percent a use your shit guy now i i don't you know i don't know what his uses are at work or whatever and he obviously in his videos does stuff he doesn't have to do he's just doing it to test the knife right but regardless the way he always words it is hashtag i use mine right and that's very different than hashtag use your shit because like use your shit is like you gotta use your shit or blah, blah, blah. where it's like i use mine just means hey i use my shit the way i want to use my shit it doesn't connotate that everybody has to use their shit right i don't know where i'm going with this but my point being is if you're new to the hobby first welcome Welcome, welcome to this wonderful hobby that is mostly 99% positive, okay? Just want to put that out there. But also, don't worry about it. If you just open packages like me, dude, have fun, man. If you just fidget with your knives, you know, you just love to open and close your knives or slow roll them or flick them or you just, you know, you like to two-hand them. Shit, let's say you like to, you know... Okay, I'm not going to go that far. I was going to say something gross. But, like, if you just, you know, want to look at your knife on the shelf, it, whatever, doesn't matter. You're not being judged by most of us. That's what I want to put out there. Most of us don't give a shit. We want to see your knife. So don't, don't, don't feel hesitant to show your knives if they don't have wear on them. Or, or don't be hesitant to post a video of you just flicking it or opening a box or something. We welcome that. And, um, anyway, there we go. That's your, uh, positivity for the day. All right, what's in this one? Uh, oh, I got two? What? 
shit. I think they gave me two of them. All right. You know what that means? You know what that means. One of these is going to you guys. Cool. Awesome. So, here is the box. So, what you get in this box is cool. I think they were running a special on these. And then they did another special. And then now it's like full price. It's like 110 bucks, I think. Something like that. Uh, but you can use my code or my link in the description. You can use my code LEFTY10 or follow the link. You will get at least 10% off. It might be more through the holidays right now. So you will save some money there. And it does help the channel if you're interested. There are some KPL microfibers in here. I love these guys. Uh, these are so handy. And uh, I use them all the time. And I love the little Ziploc pouches. They're just awesome. So you get these. You're going to get some swag from KPL. And just so you know, this is their holiday box. Um, you get Knife Shield, which to me, this is their best product. Um, I just love the product so much. I, I got to be careful. I love KPL Heavy too, actually. But this is one of their best products. It looks like milk, which is kind of cool. Um just so you know, when it sometimes when you get it or after it sits for a while, it'll kind of separate and you'll see like a clear liquid and like a yellow liquid, I think. Um, all you got to do is just shake it real quick and it'll turn back to milk. Um, and this stuff is amazing. It cleans down blades like nobody's business. It also helps protect from rust and stuff. So if you've ever used um, EDCI, um, I've tested that stuff and I've had horrible, uh, results. Now, I think a lot of that might have to just do with me. Um, but my results weren't great. This I've had better results with. Um, it's still, I've had knives rust with it, but mostly those have been bead blasted knives. And I think there's just nothing you can do with a bead blasted knife. I honestly, unless it's like Van X or something, but Bead Blast literally opens the knife up to rusting, where a stone wash will help it uh, keep rust away, you know? Uh, but anyway, this stuff's amazing for that, but the, the reason this stuff is amazing is to clean tape and gunk off of your knife. Um, let's just see. Did I cut through a bunch of tape? I did, but it's not really showing because this is a black wash blade, which I love, by the way. Um... Is there a way for me to... Uh, I've shown this, like, plenty of times. Just search Knife Shield. You'll see it. But anyway, this stuff's amazing. And these are, like, 25 bucks. Then you have a three-pack of KPL. So you have the original, the heavy, and the ultralight, which is awesome. Um, these are, like, $13 each. So you can probably get a three-pack, though, for, like, 30 bucks. So, you know, we're at, like, 50 60 bucks right there. You're going to get a cool microfiber um oh this is nice yeah good microfiber cloth it's got the knife pivot lube logo on it then you have vibratite this is a um this is a little tube of vibratite which is their thread locker it's uh i believe it's vibratite 122 oh no 121 sorry um i like 122 better because it's oil tolerant um, but this is pretty good. Um, it's still going to work fine and I've used these and they're good. You're going to get the camellia oil, which is good for keeping rust and stuff off your blades as well. Um, this is better for storage and stuff like that. Um, I'd say the knife shield's a little better for use. I don't know. It's really up and down, but, um, it's a Tsubaki oil, uh, virgin pressed organic camellia seed oil. So it's very organic as well. It's food safe, non-toxic. There you go. Um, so formulated to preserve fine carbon steel cutlery, cookware, and cast iron. There you go. Um, so a little bit different use than the knife shield, but it does have a similar place. Then you're going to get their dry film. So this is stuff I really want to try. Sorry, dry film lubricant. So this is basically like lube but it's dry so it'll quickly evaporate when you put it on and then you just it leaves a dry um lubricant behind which i don't know what uses this is best for or whatever but i really just want to test it out because um 
I don't know, just sounds awesome. It's made in the U.S., and uh, this is not going to be available until about June or July of this year, and this is or of 2023, sorry, and this is the only way that you can get it right now. So obviously, you don't want to spend a hundred and whatever just to get lube. But um, if you can use all this other stuff or gift it to somebody else or whatever, and you want to try this dry lube out, this is the way to do it right now. Uh, really, really cool. I'm excited to test it out. We'll see. I can't speak to it yet. Um, and then you have just packaging. And I believe, is this anything? I thought I saw mention of a sponge or something in the uh, listing. It'd be kind of weird if it was just a random piece of foam in here. So this is... I'm guessing a product. I haven't messed with this. Um, it just looks like a foam sponge to me. So it's possible this is just packaging material. Um, but I believe I read something about a sponge. Um, I don't know what this does, if it polishes or cleans stuff. Uh, but there you go. Um, could just be a placeholder too. I don't know. So that's everything you get in the box. Um, so shout out to KPL for sending this my way. And I do have another one, obviously, which is awesome. So let's put this down here. I'm actually going to take this and put it in the drawer to be used right away because I am running awfully low. Uh, and then I'm going to take this as well because I do have a video plan that maybe I can test that out on. So um, there is the Cape. Okay. There is the KPL Holiday Box, which is awesome. Um, shout out to them for sending these my way. Of course, uh, I'll probably be giving away one of them. And I might give away parts of this one as well. So there you go. Next up, this one is from my buddy Evan. Uh, Knife Ninja EDC. Check him out on um, Instagram. And, oh, wow, that box is garbage. I don't know how much it matters, but I'm literally just slicing the box open. Could just be this knife is incredible. Look at that. Just totally shredded that. Cool. So this is a couple of my knives coming back. And then actually a multi-tool that I bought from him because Ev runs a um, Ev runs a feed store. Go check out Escondido Feed if you're in uh, the San Diego area. And um, he has this multi-tool for sale, and I wanted to check it out. So here is a Buzz prototype. And it's been a while since I've had a Buzz in or in my hand. And, oh, yeah, I forgot how much I love this knife. Um, I really love the Buzz. Um, I cannot wait for these to come in. Just super excited about it. So that's the Buzz prototype coming back to me. I'm going to have to get a case just for Devo knives so I can clear out all my other stuff, you know, uh, or so I can keep my case clean for, for other stuff. This is the, uh, mash prototype from CMB knives. And, uh, this is some, you know, a project that's sort of in the works. We don't know exactly what's going on with it or when it'll be released or whatever, but, um, sweet knife. They did a fantastic job on it. So that's good. Um, and yeah, so I let Ev check that out. And then here is the uh, multi-tool. So let me just put this away. Here is the multi-tool that I got from Ev. And this is available in his store. And it's called the True Dual Cutter. And I'm not going to lie. This looks just like um, a product on Amazon called the Roxon Multi-Tools. There's some people that uh, follow the channel that have recommended that before. So uh, if you're one of those people, please chime in here and let me know what you think because I'm kind of sure it is that. We're going to see in a second. So designed in Fort Worth. Okay, so maybe not. True. Dual cutter, handle anodized aluminum, blade tanto. Now, the blade is 3CR13, which is just garbage. Anodized aluminum, sandblasted finish, liner lock, features spring-loaded scissors with micro serration. So, as you guys know or might know, my um, 
My, one of my favorite multi-tools is the Next Tool Flagship Pro that I have, and it has these awesome fold-out shears. And this has almost the same concept here, and that's what interested me. Alliance Consumer Group, Alliance Gateway, Freeway, Fort Worth. And interesting packaging. So he sells these at his shop, and he told me about it, and I was like, dude, let me buy one of those. So he sold me one and shipped it. And that was kind of the idea. So let's see if I can get in here. Can I get it out, dude? Okay. So I've never handled the rocks on, so I can't say that, you know, it feels like it or whatever. So uh, the clip, first off, is bent. I mean, you could argue that I maybe just did that, but I don't think so. You do have this sort of blackish, greenish aluminum face. So I think the aluminum is just this front plate um, and that maybe that ring. Then you have a liner lock. Not bad. It's not centered, but they never are on multi-tools. So you got a lot of rock, but it does lock up. And you have a Tanto. Not bad. Does not feel sharp at all. I don't think. Oh, okay. It's cutting, but it's 3CR, so it's not going to cut for very long. Just so you know, 8CR 13 MOV is regarded as one of the most budget steels. And that are like maybe acceptable, not even anymore. And this is three CR. It's five CR lower. So uh, does it open? Okay, so then here you have a little nail nick, which reminds me of the uh, next tool. Really crunchy. You hear that? So you're like, ew, there's like sand in it like sand in there and then they're spring loaded but they're very shot like they don't open up very far right <sighs> yeah dude it's literally like sand in there very rattly at the same time as well Now, keep in mind, these are, I think they're like, I forget what he told me, how much they cost, 30 bucks maybe? Maybe it's more, maybe it's, oh, okay, they really pop in though, that's kind of cool. Uh, the Ergos are, eh, this arm is a lot uh, looser or thinner than the one on my next tool, but they cut. And what I love about the next tool is that it cuts other materials really well. Like, let me grab a box. Let's see. This one has my address on it, so I'm just going to slide it in like that. We can see how it cuts cardboard. Yeah, uh not really doing a great job there is it look at that yeah all right gotta get the right angle for it to cut and then it kind of cuts i don't know um uh, so yeah i mean what i expected was pretty much cheap you know not great it's not horrible but I like how it pops in like that. Are there other tools on this? It looks like there's other tools, right? Like, what's all this stuff? Oh, my goodness. Look at this. Look at all that play in there. So that's literally all you get is the scissors that pop out this way and the knife that pops out this way. There's no other tools in here. Oh, I thought there was, like... You know, another portion of it, like a multi-tool. 
But that's it. Okay. They say 3CR proudly on there, so that's interesting. But there you go. That's the true, whatever it's called. Uh, true. It's just the true dual cutter. So, all right. All right. I can say the only thing I like about it is this. <laughs> it pops in like that. Clip is horrible. Sure, it would do the job, though. You know what I mean? It's kind of what you're looking for. But anyway, so this will probably get given away now that I've checked it out. That's about as far as I wanted to go with it. Somebody, I'm sure, can appreciate it. Maybe. I don't know. Can I get it back in is the question. Yes. Okay. Put that up there. All right. Next up. Oh, this is from Brian Winters. So Winter Blade Co. Uh, he's actually sending me a new pivot. And I remember he told me, he's like, dude, it's going to be the most epic unboxing ever. Obviously, I'm not going to just unbox that, but here we go. I've got a Winter Blade Coat Magnet, which is pretty smart. Magnetic EDC. And we have a new pivot. So this is kind of similar to my pivot. So the reason I asked for a new one is look how mine looks like. You see how it looks like foggy almost? See that? So I can zoom in. See that sort of fogginess to the pivot? I asked for a new one because I thought it was just mine, but maybe that's just how these are because that looks kind of like it too. You know? Eh, it might be a little better. Oh, that's funny. Um, let's open it up. So grab my charge. Man, I really use this a lot, to be honest. Uh, compared to how much I thought I'd be using it when I got it, I use it a lot more than I thought. So let's just see if I can not mess anything up. I guess it doesn't matter all that much because this uh, screw is coming out. It's hard because it's trying to magnetically suck it in which is good and bad but anyway i put skips in here you may have seen the disassembly if you have a winter blade cofactor and you're looking to um and you're looking to disassemble it i have a video on that but so does brian so you might be better off watching <laughs> Oop, I pushed the pivot out. Not what I was going for. So let's just see what happens. Hopefully everything just goes back together. So, we are dead centered. What was that? No play. <sighs> See, I have to kind of breaking in I'm just curious if I should tighten it a little bit more just so it because the skips I haven't messed with it much so the skips haven't even broken in yet looks like they're solid now it's just gonna drop reason I took it apart is because it felt like the detent was a little weaker than I remembered. 
Now I just can't remember what it was like. So I think it's fine. I mean... Dead centered. I don't know. Let's just loosen it a bit and see. It's still centered. Now it's just loose. Oh, there it went off to a side. So I never had to Loctite this. And I think the reason is there's a magnet in there. So it's probably magnetically just kind of holding it where it is, if that makes sense. My kid doesn't want to go to sleep. It's a battle every night. No play. Okay. We're good. I'm just going to leave it. But yeah, it does look better. It's not as foggy as the other one. I don't know what that was about. I think it was like that from the beginning. So I might just keep that in my parts drawer, you know. Just so I have an extra pivot screw. All right. So we got that cleared up. Uh, put this away here, put these up in the giveaway bin and moving on. All right. The next one, this one is from Maton boss. And this I believe is for Josh worth. So he has some stuff here that's coming my way. And it looks like a backspacer. Don't know what it's for, but we have a backspacer right here. Just has his name, if you want to check it out. Maton Boss right there. Scales and stuff. So I'm guessing, if I had to guess, it's for this. He also had this sent to me from, I believe, DLT. Great detail on this, by the way. So is there a backspacer that yeah, look, it has the it has the big tube and everything there. Probably wraps around the tube and then into that and then it, that barrel goes through it. Oh, that's smart. Smart, smart, smart. Yeah, look at that. So that's how that works. So we got a backspacer for a PM2 here. See if I can fold it. I think I'm waiting on one other item for him. Um, a Gavco hyphen or something from Wii. So you might see that on the channel. You might not. You guys know I'm not a fan of Gavco, so I might not show it. But let's see. Uh, we got package from Colin. I think this is just stuff coming back to me. We send stuff back and forth constantly. I'm either loaning him shit to check out, he's loaning me something to check out, or we're sending prototypes back and forth, or whatever. This, I think, is my aluminum, uh, what is it? We'll see. We'll see. Something. Obviously. Is this the not a factor? Oh. This might be a double winter blade video. Colin, are you serious though? He put so much packing penis in here, it's not even funny. It's like he's messing with me. I don't even want to open this. I don't think there's anything else in here, so. This was a horrible, horrible package. Colin, do better. Do better, Colin. Jesus. So, I think... 
This is my Ace Nibbler. Seriously? Literally hate you, Colin. All right. Um, yep. It's my little nibs. My little nib nib. Did you did you scratch my nib, bro? Oh, you scratched my nibs. Look at that. I was making fun of... <laughs> That's kind of funny. I was making fun of Casey saying he probably couldn't open it on his uh, unboxing of it, which he did. Uh, but to be fair, this needs to be reversed to lefty again. Let me just... Guessing it's a... Is it a T8? Maybe a T8. Let's find out. Yep. T8. Otherwise, it should be the same. So let's see, lefty. There we go. Um, I actually really like this knife, the uh, Nibbler. This one's in uh, N690, and I have skiff bearings in there. And it's just a good little fifth pocket, front left pocket, pouch, whatever knife. You know, this and the Baby Barlow are probably my favorite mini knives because they actually work pretty well as mini knives, you know what I mean? The baby bar was fantastic. This is a little more, you know, clumsy, um, cause the baby bar, you just grab it up top, but, um, this works great and, uh, nibble, nibble. Yeah. This is the last one though, guys. I had three for a little while there. I bought another, I bought a blue aluminum one and then I bought the green micarta 20 CB one. I probably should have just bought the titanium 20 CB one and called it a day. But you know me, I, I was dicking around and then I ended up selling both of those. So it worked out. But um, So I do have this one. And that's what that mark was. It was from the clip. I'm such a dumbass. And I was kidding, by the way. But um, yeah. So that's the nibbler. Nibble, nibble. And then this is the uh, not a factor coming back. I got to get this back to Brian over at Winter Blade. This is a sort of project we're working on for Devo with Winter Blade. Hoping to get something going on it. Uh, we were thinking of changing this to more of a shark lock kind of situation. And then have the back lock and that. Two ways to open it. And then kind of bringing the design to a little bit more of a normal design, as Brian called it. And, um, you know, blade to handle ratio and all that good stuff to make more sense. But it does feel really good. So... Excited about that if we can get that off the ground at some point, but you know, he's got a lot going on with the Factor and the Mirage and whatnot. So I'm not really bugging him or anything where how oh, it's not a factor. That's right <laughs> All right, so that and then we have one more this one is from oh, this is just okay All right, so yeah, this is a very random unboxing not much going on here honestly this is from zug monster so this is uh just some stickers that i got for devo they had a big sale for the holiday um it was 150 bucks and we got a thousand stickers so just seemed like you know smart business to do it i guess um how good are they I don't know. I guess we'll find out real quick. Oh, that one's ripped. So let me just take one out. Feels very uh, plasticky. I gotta say, guys, I love um, Sticker Mule. Their sticker quality is just really good. Let's see how this is. Hopefully it's just the backing that's not fantastic easy peel is also a good option here we go oh yeah these are good yeah they're good so it's 
this just doesn't feel as premium as like a sticker mule sticker does but this sticker feels pretty good yeah nice vinyl and everything solid sticker so i got those because it was a great deal and i'm like now i have tons of stickers i can just throw in with stuff when i need it is this really a thousand though so what's that like 300 600 and then no can't be so these are each maybe i don't know how much you think is in each of these 350 so you end up with what's that seven and then three here that would probably make the most sense if you look at it 50 off but i don't know it doesn't look like 50 I do not want to count this many stickers, though. Just does not... This does not look like a thousand stickers to me. I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy. But, anyway. There you go. Those are the Devo stickers. Let me just check that invoice. Yep, it says a thousand. Quantity a thousand. GL, whatever. Gloss. One item. If you reorder this design, you just scan this order number or whatever. That's kind of cool. Uh, I wish their presentation was a little bit nicer. This is a little, you know. But, hey, what are you going to do? So, there you go. Big sticker deal. I guess it could be because I get those 50 stacks and they're like this big. But these, this material just seems really a lot thicker, you know. You just grab... This is a growler sticker from Sticker Mule. Oh, yeah. About the same. Maybe, honestly, thicker on this one. So, I guess so. I mean, I don't think they're trying to cheat us. I just thought it was interesting. I, by the way, I had a horrible experience with their customer service. Uh, on a different note, I was trying to do a, a Dead Nuts sticker on a different deal. And I asked for a different background when I ordered. Um, and I was like, if you can't do it, that's fine. And the, the, they responded. They were like, yeah, we're really busy with the sale. So, like, we could do one color option if you want. And I was like, all right, do this. And then it was like four days later, nothing. And I was like, hey, just wanted to follow up. Um, and they were like, we're really busy with the sale. So, if your file is more editable, we could do it. But with the sale and... <laughs> I just, I laid into him a little bit. I was like, I was like, come on, man. Like, I don't care how busy you are with the sale. Like, you bugged me. Like, you sent me 18 emails until I finally bought something. You know, I hate that shit. And I was like, I get it. You're busy. You just don't, you don't say that to a customer. You just say, hey, why didn't you just lead with the, if your file wasn't good enough? Like, my file's not good enough? Sure, fine. I, like, just tell me that. I didn't know that. If you had said that right away and just been like, unfortunately, we can't, you know, change the file because it's not good enough or high quality enough or whatever. So we can leave it the same or if you want to, you know, wait and maybe we can mess with it later. I don't know, something like that. But it was just like, we're busy with the sale. Like, fuck you. I don't care. <laughs> anyway, I'm just rambling. Sorry. So there you go. That's everything. Uh, sorry for the very random unboxing. But hey, that's how it goes. Um, really excited to try this dry film. Got my uh, factor all jazz back up, so to speak, with a solid pivot. And uh, yeah, there you go. Let me know if you guys have any questions down below. Always open to answering your comments. I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day. And I will catch you later.